Good morning. Welcome to Wake Me Up. As always, I'm Tyler, your host, and I'm so glad that you're here today. My friend, there's no denying that in this fast-paced modern world, uncertainty is everywhere. We all think about what's coming next in life, but often the frantic need to plan for the future can overtake our minds, ruin our mood, and remove our focus from the one opportunity to do something about it, the present moment. So today, I want to explore how excessive worry can erode our present contentment and go over what strategies we can use to combat this and cultivate a more peaceful and fulfilling life. But before we dive in, let's just take one moment to pause. Whatever's on your mind, whatever you might be worried about or excited about in this day coming up, just bring yourself to the here and now. You give so much of your time to everyone else. Take this moment for you. And let's use it to take some deep, calming breaths. So inhale, feeling your chest and your belly expand. Hold. And then exhale, nice and slow. Try to make that exhale longer than the inhale. Once more, inhale. Hold. And then release. And with that exhale, just allow any tension you might be holding in your body to soften and just dissolve and float away. Great. Now, if you're in bed, I recommend using this moment to roll over, make your way up and get your day started. And as you go about your morning routine, making some coffee, going for a walk, whatever it is you like to do, I'll talk about worrying and stressing and what we can do about it to make sure that today is a great day. Now, I'm not going to harp on all the negatives of being overly stressed and anxious because you probably know them. But there is one point to remember, that it holds you back from actually fixing the issue that is stressing you out. Everything we worry about is in the future. You may think you worry about the past, but you only worry about the past if you expect something from your past to affect your future. And with all the unpredictability in life, it makes sense that we want to worry about the future. We say to ourselves that if we worry now, we can be better prepared for whatever life throws at us. And don't get me wrong here, planning is great, but overthinking is usually unhelpful. And trust me, I know it's way too easy to be caught up in the stresses of what ifs and imaginary scenarios. But the truth is, you can only play out so many potential scenes in your mind while you're standing there in the shower before you're going to go crazy. It's in times like these that it's helpful to remember the Randy Armstrong quote, worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. This quote reminds us that while planning and preparation are crucial, excessive worrying only robs us of the serenity and joy that could be found in the present moment. As I said before, worrying usually comes from our desire to control the future. We obsess over what might happen and rehearse endless worst case scenarios. Ironically, this leads to a loss of control over our emotions and our mental well being. Persistent worrying paves the way for anxiety and negative thought patterns. But no matter how much you worry, the future always remains uncertain, and we just can't predict the outcomes. We're chasing something that can never be reached, and in doing so, we're losing sight of what's right in front of us. 
that, my friend, is where mindfulness comes in. By focusing on the moment we are in, we break the cycle of worry and ground ourselves in the present, which is the only time we can take action to change the future. If we pay attention to what surrounds us right now, there's no room for stress or anxiety. There is simply this moment. And if you do happen to be in a moment of real stress, then try to remember that it too, like everything else in life, will pass. Think of practicing mindfulness like steering a ship with a steady hand. It allows us to smoothly navigate life's challenges and appreciate the beauty and joy of every wave we ride. So when the future finally becomes the present, we're able to face it as the best version of ourselves and overcome obstacles as they arise without anything fogging our vision. My friend, in the hustle and bustle of our modern lives, it is all too easy to find ourselves lost in the labyrinth of overthinking and worrying. We dwell on the uncertainties of tomorrow and the regrets of yesterday, inadvertently robbing ourselves of the beauty of the present moment. So let us remember that our power lies not in the whispers of doubt echoing through our minds, but in the actions we take today. For when we are consumed by worries, we are merely spectators of our own lives, watching from the sidelines as opportunities pass us by. The key lies in embracing the here and now. When we live in the present, we become active participants of life. It is only in this very moment that we hold the reins to shape our future. By focusing on what we can do right now, we unlock our potential to influence the outcomes we desire. So if you're carrying weight in your mind from worrying all the time, let it go. It's so heavy and it's not helping you. Relinquish the weight of your worries. Step into the present, the here and now, where everything is really happening. Truly enjoy a deep breath. Appreciate a good laugh. Savor the moments of life when they come because in the next moment, they will be gone. My friend, the future will come whether you plan for it or not. So why waste today worrying about what might come tomorrow? If you do that, then you're just going to waste tomorrow thinking about the next day too. Don't plan for happiness. Don't plan for fulfillment. Find it right here in the simple moments of your day. A beautiful sky, a cute dog, or a smile from a stranger. These are all things that can ground us in the power of now and help us break free from the cycle of excessive anxiety. Our ability to find contentment and peace in the present is the source of our happiness and well-being. So my friend, Join me. Let's loosen our grip on the reins. Stop worrying so much and just try to enjoy the ride. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for choosing to join me here. It always means a lot to have you. If you enjoyed this episode and you have a second to spare, I'd really appreciate it if you left a review or a comment. I hope to see you back here soon on Wake Me Up. And until then, go out and have an absolutely fantastic day.